Hello and welcome back to the 8th and final Diabetes Education Vignette. We hope that these videos have been a useful tool to assist in your learning experience. Our goal is that you will watch and re-watch these videos to build your confidence as you care for your child with diabetes after you've left the hospital setting. Along with the Managing Childhood Diabetes Binder and the Pink Panther Book, these videos are a great resource to help incorporate diabetes management into your child's day-to-day -day life. We hope you will share this information with caregivers as well as your child's school so we can get your child back to doing the things that they love. We know that diabetes is a big life change that affects the entire family. Dr. Deckelbob will walk us through the medical team approach when you come in for your clinic visits. A chronic disease like diabetes doesn't only affect the child who has it, it will affect other family members. Our diabetes team will always keep this in mind when we are addressing your child's plan of care. Our team believes strongly that type 1 diabetes should be managed as a whole family disease. We are very passionate about this part as actually many of us have had personal experience with type 1 diabetes for years. We will always consider the social, the emotional, and the academic aspects of your child's life while helping them in the daily management of diabetes. If your child needs other specialty medical care, our extended family of more than 80 pediatric subspecialists at Beaumont Children's will be available to help. Now our social worker Chelsea will discuss adjustments to living with diabetes. The diagnosis of diabetes often represents a challenge for children and their parents. In the first few months, it's common for children and adolescents to feel sad, lonely, anxious, or irritable. In some cases, we may see rebellion and refusal to complete diabetes-related tasks. These situations may require outside supports, such as counseling, therapy, or peer support groups. Children and family members often experience the stages of grief upon the diagnosis of diabetes. Family members may experience emotions progressing from denial and anger to bargaining, depression, and finally resolution or acceptance. Some parents, especially mothers, also report feelings of depression and anxiety, which may lead to guilt or worry about the child's future. These negative reactions in children and their parents are normal responses and usually improve in the first year of diagnosis. As part of the adjustment process, the family is required to create a new normal. This includes setting new priorities, reorganizing family responsibilities, and adjusting parent-child relationships with the supervision of new routines. At each visit with our team, expectations and goals will be reviewed to ensure that they are age and developmentally appropriate. We look at more than just blood sugar outcomes. We evaluate your child's emotional, social, and academic development. Our team will also assess how your child can manage age-appropriate diabetes-related skills. Some strategies for children and adolescents participating in their diabetes care include encouraging your child to participate in age-appropriate tasks only under the gentle guidance and watchful eyes of their parents. Pushing a child to assume their diabetic responsibilities too soon can cause an increased risk of problems with treatment adherence, poor blood sugar control, and preventable hospitalizations. Total diabetes self-management is not a reasonable goal for adolescents. Even though they may look or act like an adult, they still require your supervision. Parents are encouraged to actively supervise their adolescents' diabetes management skills, praise and encourage their successes and proficiencies, and help them to learn from their mistakes. Criticizing, nagging, and arguing when something is missed are commonly reported strategies that do not work. Some successful strategies for improving cooperation in diabetes care include goal setting, charting, and behavioral contracts. I look forward to meeting with you at your clinic appointment. Next, our nurse specialist, Maria Bori, will discuss the hospital to home program and your follow-up appointments. To prepare for your one-week class, we ask that you please reach out to your insurance company to find out which pharmacy that you will need to use for your child's medication refills. We also ask if you would find out which durable medical equipment company that you will need to use for your child's supplies. This will include your blood sugar meter and your testing supplies. Our nurse practitioner will write updated prescriptions with refills at your one-week class. At class, 
We'll change your child from insulin vials and syringes to the insulin pen and even make some dose adjustments as needed. Our team will be discussing sick day management as well as different options for technology that we will be exploring in the future. Before you are discharged from the hospital, you will receive a letter with preset appointment dates. These appointments include a one-week class with a nurse practitioner and a nurse specialist, a one-month appointment with a nurse practitioner and a registered dietitian, and a two-month appointment with an endocrinologist and a nurse specialist. Then every three months, you will need to schedule an appointment alternating between our nurse practitioners and your endocrinologist. These appointments will be very important. Here we will do insulin dose adjustments, medication refills, and just overall check to see how the diabetes management is going along. If you do not receive a letter with appointment dates, because maybe you were discharged on the weekend, please call our office on Monday morning and we will get those appointments set up for you. Easing back into your life is your goal for this upcoming week. Now Nurse Emily will talk to you about your child returning to school and their other activities. Thanks, Maria. Please take the next week to get comfortable with the educational materials provided. Watch and share these videos with members of your inner circle, including care providers, grandparents, older siblings, babysitters, coaches, and school personnel. When you have questions, look through the Managing Childhood Diabetes Binder to see if you can find the answer. And remember, we're only a phone call away. Our endocrinology team will provide you with a school plan before discharge. Please schedule a meeting with the school to discuss your child's return to school and their plan of care. When your child feels ready, we encourage them to return to their sports and activities. They'll need to bring with them a supply bag with their meter, lancets, and test strips, a snack, a treatment for a low blood sugar, and a water bottle. More information about sports and activities can be found in your binder. We expect that your child will live a big, beautiful, full life. Diabetes is just part of who your child is. They will continue to be your wonderfully curious child, a good friend, a diligent student, a talented athlete, or a blossoming artist. Our endocrinology team looks forward to meeting your family and sharing our expertise in this ever-growing field of diabetes. Thank you for allowing us to be part of your child's life and your partner in managing their diabetes care. A very special thank you to Nurse Kathy Sehai, who wrote the first Managing Childhood Diabetes book, and Dr. David Transu, who started the Pediatric Diabetes Program at Beaumont in 1987. They were my care team when I was diagnosed, and they instilled in me, as in so many of their patients, the confidence to manage diabetes successfully. I don't have the words to thank them. This program, our clinic, all of it, this is their legacy. A special thank you to Children's Miracle Network and the Beaumont Health Foundation for your ongoing support of our children with diabetes. We are grateful for the funding of this educational video series as well as the Managing Childhood Diabetes Binders. To the wonderful Emergency Room, Pediatric Intensive Care Unit, and Pediatric Unit physicians, nursing staff, dietitians, and ancillary staff, thank you for your excellence and dedication in caring for our families with diabetes. We are so grateful to be part of this Beaumont Children's team.